In this lecture, we are going to learn what is access modifier in PHP. In the previous lecture, we used the public access modifier. So let's take a look at the different access modifier in PHP. So there are three access modifier in PHP. First is public, second is protected, and third is private. Now let's take a look at all these access modifier one by one. We have seen we use this public access modifier to access the property or method. So if you specify this public access modifier, the property or method can be accessed from anywhere. So if you specify this public access modifier to the property or method, it can be accessed from anywhere in the program. Now let's take a look at the protected access modifier. If you specify protected access modifier, then the property or method can be accessed within the class and from inherited class. We'll talk about what is inheritance in the future lectures. And then we have the private access modifier. If you specify private access modifier to the property or method, it can be accessed only in the class. You cannot access the private property outside of the class. Now, let me explain the very simple difference between all these three access modifier. You can access all the properties and methods using public access modifier. You can access properties and method in the class or in the inherited class using protected access modifier. You can access properties and method only in the class using private access modifier. Now let's take a look at a very simple example to understand all this access modifier. So let's start by creating a very simple example. So I'm going to create a class YouTube and I'm going to specify two properties to it. And you can notice both this property have a public access modifier. Now then I'm going to create two functions. First is a constructor function to initialize both these properties. And then we have the method which will just return the title property and then I'm going to create a new object of this YouTube class and then equal the title and the length property. Now we have this public access modifier to this property title and to this length. So we can access it outside of this class as well using the class object. You can notice we did not specify anything to this method. The default access modifier specified to this method is public. Public is a default access modifier for all the properties and methods. Now let me just change this public access modifier and change it to protected. Now what if I execute this file? When I execute this file, I'm going to have error message cannot access protected property because I have here protected access modifier specified to this property. We can only access this protected property within the class or in the inherited class. Now let me just change this protected to private. So if I just converted this access modifier to private, it's going to return a warning message cannot access private property. This will not allow you to access the private property outside of the class. The private property can only be accessed within the class. You cannot access the private property in the inherited class as well. So beware while using this private access modifier. Now let's see where you can use this access modifier. If you want to access property in the other PHP program as well, then you can use the public access modifier for the property or the method. Now you can create a method with this public access modifier as well like this public function get title but by default we have public access modifier to all the methods so we don't need to specify public always when you create a function now if you want to prevent someone by using your properties or method of your class then you can use protected access modifier the protected access modifier only be accessed within the class or from the inherited class so if you want to prevent someone from using your function you can use this protected access modifier. And then we have the private access modifier. Now suppose if you create a property or a method that you are not going to use in the other class, then you can use private access modifier. You can simply use private access modifier to secure your data. For example, your user ID, or you can store your API keys in the private access modifier. Now, if I specify this private access modifier to this method, this method is only accessible within this class. I can't access this method using my object as well. I hope you understand what is access modifier and how to use it in PHP class. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.